Okay, so I just finished uh, creating the boundary, an accurate boundary for our surface. One of the other things that we need to look into, I can see there's some points here. For example, that point there, there's a point there, another point here, there. All these points are not 100% accurate in terms of representing the surface. It shows a large difference in elevation between this area here and the surrounding points. Let's display the points so we can appreciate that. First of all, let's look at the surface. So if I just select the surface and go to the object viewer. These are the points that we're talking about. So we've got a point here, another point there. As you can see, there's a point lower than all the points, all the surrounding points. And that's forcing the surface to create triangles to that point there. So I, it could be a mistake with taking levels for that point, or it could be a point not supposed to be part of the spot levels. It could be for description of an, an object on the side. The main thing for us, let's eliminate these points from our surface. And that's why we added that group for the existing surface points. So we can simply add or uh, eliminate points from that surface. First of all, let's show these, all these points on the screen. So if I go back to the drawing here, unhide, unhide or unisolate objects, they'll bring back everything to our drawing. So this is the point that we're talking about here. We've got another point here, another point there. So how to do that? We can just simply going back to these uh, point groups, to these points in the point group of the existing surface. We'll go to properties and simply we're going to exclude points from that. The easier way, just because you can see them visually, you can just go to exclude points, select from the drawings. And you can just go and choose each one of these points separately. Got another point here, another one here. point there as you can tell these points they have different naming comparing to the other points that confirms our theory that these points are not spot level points they have other description for other items on the surface so let's just eliminate them from our drawings that's the points I can see for now let's right click so it will be okay and if i press apply and okay you can see these points are not represented anymore within our surface we can just we, we just simply eliminated these points from our surface i've got another one here uh, that's just for a drain or the valley area where the creek is running so i will keep that Yep, so that's the points visually I can look into. The, the whole um, knowledge I'm trying to show you here that if we will need for a reason or another to eliminate a point from our surface, this is the use of creating a new group called the existing surface or the design surface or anything you, you creating surface of, you, you make them into a group, these points, so you can include or exclude points from that surface. All right, guys, I think that concludes the first two steps or row design. Uh, that's step number one, adding the points and working with these points, creating groups. The second step was to create a surface, analyzing the surface, seeing where the problems are, where we had problems around the boundaries, where we have points are not related to that surface for a reason or another and how to fix these problems or how to refine our surface. In our next video, we'll go through the steps for designing the horizontal alignments.